very hard time finding a job. So as I was at home, I thought of starting my own job, like selling t-shirts, finding t-shirts and branding them with different images and selling them. Uh, but my business hasn't been very well because of starting. But then I heard about this workshop, it's an entrepreneurial workshop. So I thought, let me give it a try and see. And I'm glad I did actually. Entrepreneurship. So that at the end of the two weeks, I may use these skills to benefit or come up with a business that will help me grow. And, and I'll also use these skills to assist others, yeah, to assist others back at home so that they may also uh, equip their businesses and uh, develop the whole county at large. We have been taught that you have to learn yourself first before you love others. So here, first of all, what we have gained here, we must apply to ourselves as individuals. So when we develop ourselves, we have even capacity to develop others. This program is designed uh, to empower the youth uh, in two main areas. Number one, uh, the area of uh, life skills and also entrepreneurship. Uh, you, uh, you find that uh, for somebody to succeed in life, uh, some of these life skills are very, very critical. Uh, the main issue now in Isiolo County is about drug abuse. Uh, we have insecurity issues also. Yeah, you find that uh, keto wrestling is still, uh, uh, is still uh, practiced yeah, between communities and it's, it's, it's even affecting the education system. So it's really a challenge. Unemployment. Unemployment among the youth is another challenge. We have large bag, uh, we have uh, uh, a group of youth that are unemployed and it's really becoming a challenge. These youth are frustrated and at the end of the day they end up in, in, in uh, the social norms that affect negatively the entire county. In gender-based violence, it is uh, in high rate. Women are not uh, able to speak up. They can't speak out because of maybe traditional norms and culture. So as an activist, I used to speak for them. I told them it is your right to wake up and talk. The biggest challenge for young people in Isiolo uh, you know, in starting a business is lack of funds and uh, it's very hard to actually get help from even the county although you guys are trying to make things easier right now uh, also the people around you might start you might be passionate about starting something and then uh, everyone around you discourages you they'll be like who will even buy from you kwa muda mrefu tunataka tukue past and parcel ya county ambayo tunaweza kuleta sheria ambazo zinalinda sisi kama vijana I want the county to give them that chance it is their constitutional right I want the county government with the, the other stakeholders to chip in to help this youth to enjoy their constitutional rights. The county needs to involve the youth in uh, whatever they do. We are here, we are very ready to listen, to learn from them, uh, but they need to involve us. Instead, you know, you can go there and try to involve yourself. You're like, I, I'd like to see what's happening and all that, but they just push you out. They say, whatever we are doing, you won't understand, uh, maybe it's not in your level or something, uh, but if they give us a chance, then we'll be good. We have already um, acquired that knowledge. We know it is our responsibility to support the evolution and the evolution to support us as young generation. Basically what they're saying right now is they got the skills to go to the county government and demand what their right full share is in the county government. They need effective participation in the county government as a youth, as a backbone of this nation. That's what they said. Right now they got also the skills of uh, of uh, interacting with people, going back to the community members and telling them that they have to be very productive members of society. 
There's a lot of radicalization, radicalization going in our regions. There's a lot of uh, children uh, resorted to drugs, these kind of stuff. They say that when they go back home, they will be able to lecture our youth so that they become very, very productive members of the community. Our plan is, uh, is that the, the, the team that we have trained so far uh, becomes more or less like mentors uh, to the others in the counties, because, in the county, uh, because it's very, very difficult to, uh, to, to loop in everybody. And if uh, the small group of 50 or 100 that we are going to train for Isiolo uh, would mentor the others, then uh, there would be uh, that effect. Uh, there would be that effect uh, of, uh, of the, mo the multiplier effect uh, that, uh, you know, that this information is passed even to the others.